여러분 안녕하세요 Always with Teacher Nina 입니다 여러분 반갑습니다 반갑습니다 Do you know what does that mean 반갑습니다? It means nice to meet you 라는 뜻입니다 자 여러분 반갑습니다 Can you repeat after me? 반갑습니다 Okay, so from now on, we're going to go to our Korean learning journey. So are you ready? So today, our first lesson is lesson one, 인사입니다. 인사. 그럼 지금부터 함께 가보실까요? Then, let's go. All right, so what is new for today? For today, conversation one, 저는 스티브 윌슨이에요. 저는 스티브 윌슨이에요. And we're going to learn today three grammar point. So first one, equational expression. So, 뭐뭐은는 이에요 or 예요. And second one is omission of redundant element. Third one is comparing items 은 or 는 versus though. So we're going to today learn three grammar points and also through conversation one, 저는 Steve Wilson이에요. You're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Korean. 자, 그럼 let's go for our today new vocabulary. So each lesson we're going to deal with and learn especially noun part. So here is like today our lesson new vocabulary in nouns. 자, 여러분, look at these words. So always, please remember, first time you're going to listen these words. After that, you're going to press the pause button and repeat after me. So it means practice this vocabulary pronunciation and also speaking out by yourself. All right. 자, 그러면 지금부터 듣기 연습, 듣기 연습. Listening practice. We're going to start. 1학년 1학년 Freshman 2학년 2학년 Sophomore 3학년 3학년 Junior 4학년 4학년 Senior 대학생 대학생 College student, 미국, 미국, the United States. 사람, 사람, person or people. 인사, 인사, greeting. 학년, 학년, school year. 학생, 학생, student. 한국, 한국. Korea. Okay, 자 여러분 잘 들으셨나요? Did you listen well? Then from now on, let's practice. So from now on, please pause, press the pause button, and speak out each vocabulary. 자 지금부터 시작하겠습니다. Let's go. All right. How was your practice? It was easy or it was difficult? I know. Everything is when you do first time, it must be hard, right? But you're going to get used to it. So please keep doing and practicing. Put your effort. Then you're going to see that how much you can improve. Okay? All right. 자, 그러면요. Based on new vocabulary, let's go to the, our conversation part. So conversation first, one is 저는 Steve Wilson. Chonin Steve Wilson. So it is about how you introduce your name, okay? So Chonin Steve Wilson. It means I am Steve Wilson. 자, 여러분, 여러분들의 이름은 무엇인가요? I want to ask you what's your name. 자, 그러면 you can say that. Oh, Chonin Teacher Nina. So I am teacher Nina, right? So for example, my name is Nina Choi, 그쵸? So I can say that 저는 Nina예요 or 저는 Nina Choi예요. So do you know what? Guess what? In Korea, 
the family name should come first. After that, your own name. So your first name should be in second. So it means like, for example, I can write it in here, this part. So my name is Nina Choi, right? So this is my first name and this is my family name. But in Korea, you should write it first, your family name. And then your first name should be after your family name. So I introduce normally, uh, 저는 Choi Nina Eo. 저는 Choi Nina Eo. 그렇죠? So please remember, in Korea, Again, what? Your family name should come first. All right. 자, 그러면은요. Let's listen to the conversation one. So after that, there you go. Again, post the button. And then we're going to practice uh, speaking 바라기. And also follow the pronunciation. 할 겁니다. All right. 그러면 듣기 연습. 시작할게요. Then let's listening practice first. Steve. 안녕하세요. 저는 스티브 윌슨이에요. 3학년이에요. 유미. 안녕하세요. 저는 김유미예요. 1학년이에요. 마이클. 마이클 정이에요. 저도 1학년이에요. All right. Did you listen well? Okay. From now on. We're going to do practice your speaking practice. So from now on, please pause and then practice speaking out this conversation one. Let's go. Okay, then let's go to the translate a conversation one. Just Steve say, 안녕하세요 라고 하죠. Steve say, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요 means hello 라는 표현입니다. So 안녕하세요. Hello. So 저는 Steve Wilson이에요. I am Steve Wilson. 3학년이에요. 3학년. 자 여러분 학년 is what? 여러분 볼까요? 학년이라는 표현을 볼까요? 자 in here 학년 means school year를 뜻합니다. So this is like a school year. So 3 means like a number three, 그렇죠? So it means like a junior, 이라는 표현이죠. So I am a junior, 이라는 표현이 되겠습니다. 자, so when you mention about yourself, when you mention about your name, you normally, when you first met someone, not 나는, you should use like honorific expression, former way, 저는, 이라고 써야 합니다. Remember, please? So when you met someone at first time, it's, it's, use you should use 저는 not 나는 because in korea society we really care honor form well so depending on how older are you so for example your speaking partner is older than you you should use polite and honorific form so 저는 is one of that polite and honorific form 저는 steve wilson i am steve wilson okay then let's go and Yumi also say, 안녕하세요. Hello. 저는 김유미예요. I am Kimyumi. So how you can express Kimyumi? It means like, oh, Yumi Kim. 그렇죠? In English, it is Kimyumi is Yumi Kim. 그렇죠? So Kim is family name and Yumi is a first name. So that's why 저는 김유미예요. But in English, 저는 Yumi Kim. I am Yumi Kim. 그렇죠? And 저는 1학년이에요. So again, 학년 means school year. So you miss that. 1 means first grade. 그렇죠? So I'm a freshman. And then look at the Michael. Oh, Michael also mentioned his name. Michael 정이에요. So you can catch where, right? Michael is his first name and the 정 is his last name. Then what about how you can say in Korean style? You can say that. Oh, 저는 정 Michael Yeo. 그렇죠. But in English style, yes, John, I am Michael Jung. 저도 1학년이에요. Oh, Michael said also, I am also a freshman. 그렇죠. 1학년. Oh, did you catch one different point compared Yumi, what Yumi say and what Michael said? There you go. 자, Yumi say 저는 
but Michael said "저도." Can you guess why Yumi and Michael said different subject particle 저는 or 저도? So we're going to learn about it this part too. So please focusing on why 저는 and 저도. So in I'm going to give you a hint. So it means like a 저도 is also 라는 표현입니다. So it means also 라는 표현이기 때문에 I'm also a freshman. So when you mention exactly same as previous person, then you can say, oh, not 저는, 저도 라고 할수 있습니다. All right. 자, 그러면 let's go to our next part, new expression. 안녕하세요. Okay. 자, 여러분. Just now, teacher Nina say what? 그렇죠. 안녕하세요 라고 했죠. So, I say just now, 안녕하세요. Let's watch it again. 안녕하세요. Right. So, 안녕하세요 is a greeting that asks about the other person's well-being or good health. This expression can be used at any time of the day. So, it doesn't matter morning time, afternoon time or evening time always when you miss someone you can say 안녕하세요 안녕하세요 so the appropriate response will be a return greeting of 안녕하세요 all right then let's watch it again how the teacher nina greet to you guys and can you reply to me okay please to return the greeting of teacher nina 안녕하세요 안녕하세요. 그렇죠. 잘하셨습니다. There you go. And then we're going to learn about one plain form and humble form. I already mentioned about in our previous conversation one part. 그렇죠? 나 and 저. 그렇죠? 자, so there is a plain form here. Plain form and humble form. Again, remember, Korea society, we really consider about humble form and honor form very importantly. So depending on social status and politeness and also your age, you should use proper form depending on context and situation. So there is one plain form. I is na. So when you mention as for me, you can say na nun. Good job. But when you want to mention it, I also, then you can say, na to. So, na nun, it means as for me. But when you means I also, na to ga demida. Then, what about humble form? So, humble form is, cho, cho. So, as for me is, cho nun i dagitjo. Cho nun, I also, in the humble form, cho to ga demida. Okay, so for example, when you tell me, teacher Nina, which form you can use, plain form or humble form, normally student talk to teacher, definitely it should be humble form. So, 저, 저는, 저도. So please remember well, humble form, 저, 저는, 저도. Then what about your 친구, friend? Definitely you can use plain form. 나, 나는, 나도. All right. Is it clear? 자, 그러면 다음으로 한번 넘어가 볼까요? Let's go. Then, what about numbers? 자, 여러분, 신호 Korean numbers라는 표현이 있습니다. 자, 신호 Korean numbers. So, Korean used to set up the numbers. One is native Korean numbers. And the other one is Sino Korean numbers. So, these are following our basic Sino Korean numbers. 자, 여러분, let's look at it. Young, or we say 공. 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 유, 칠, 팔, 구, Ship. So again, one more time, please listen well. Young or Kong Il Yi Sam 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So depending on the context, you should choose a proper numbering system. It can be Sino-Korean numbers or it can be native Korean numbers. 자, then what about school year? So we learned about already school year, how you can say that. 학년, 그렇죠? So do you remember what we used, like which type of the Korean number system in our previous dialogue, conversation one? When you mention it's school year, 학년, there you go, 그렇죠. We use Sino Korean numbers. So, 1학년, 2학년, 3학년, 4학년. So, you can catch when you mention 학년, you should use Sino Korean numbers. All right, 자, 여러분들, please memorize it, this Sino Korean number. One more time, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job. 잘하셨습니다. Then let's go on our today main grammar point. 자, 여러분들, 지금부터 we're going to learn about main grammar point. So the first one is equational expression. So and one, 은 or 는, and two, 이에요 or 예요. So look at the example. Steve said, 저는... Steve 예요. 3학년 이에요. So it means I am Steve and I am a junior, right? So I am Steve, I am a junior. 저는 Steve 예요. 3학년 이에요. And then you may reply 김유미예요. 저는 1학년 이에요. I am Yumi Kim. 저는 1학년 이에요. I am a freshman. 그렇죠? So look at the second example. Sophia Wang is a student. One more time. Sophia Wang is a student. So it means Sophia Wang is a student. So did you catch what does that mean? So it is like equational expression. 저는 Steve 예요. So and one equal and two. 라는 표현이 되죠. So all the example above here have a topic command structure. So in Korean, topic command structure is the basic sentence type. So the topic in this part, 저가 되겠죠. 저, 그쵸? 저는 스티브예요. 그쵸? 저는 스티브예요. And then command is 스티브예요. So you can see here, I'm going to divide it here. 저는 스티브예요. So you see here this part, Topic and Steve Yeo is command. So topic command structure is one of the fundamental ways of conveying ideas where the speaker picks a person, an idea, or a subject as a topic and contribute the subsequent statement in describing the selected item, right? So it can be command. All right. So the most typical use of topic command structure is in identifying statements such as here, the example, where equational expression N1 is N2. So here, 저는 is, 저 is N1, 그렇죠? And Steve can be N2가 됩니다. 그렇죠? 자, then 저는 1학년이 해볼까요? Let's look at it. 저는 1학년이에요. 자, then what about 저? In here is the same way. 저 is N1. 1학년 is, can be N2 가 되겠죠. 자, look at it. Sophia Wang 은 학생이에요. Which part can you divide it? There you go. 자, Sophia Wang 은 and 학생이에요, right? So, Sophia Wang can be N1 and 학생 can be N2 가 되겠죠. So, Sophia Wang 은 학생이에요. Alright. 자, 여러분들, is it clear? So, practice N1 Equal N2 is equational expression, all right? So an equational expression contains two nouns, where the first noun N1 is part of the topic, 
which is like a Sophia Wang in here, and the second noun and two product command, which is like Haksing in this part. Good job. All right, then, 여러분들, let's go to the next grammar point. 자, 여러분, is it clear, everyone? If you have a question, please write it and then you can ask me later. All right. So let's go then next to our second grammar point. 자, 여러분, next part is omission of redundant element. 자, Stephen again say, 안녕하세요. 저는 Steve Wilson이에요. 3학년이에요. And Yumi said, 안녕하세요. 김유미 예요. 자, 여러분, what does it mean? 안녕하세요. Hello, 이런 표현이죠. But it can be also used for how are you? 라는 표현으로도 가능합니다. 자, 안녕하세요. How are you? 그렇죠? But Steve just say 안녕하세요 without anyone's name, right? Because when you just say 안녕하세요, it's already you talk to someone who can be target, right? So you don't need to do ask how are you because the someone that's communicate partner already know that, like Steve asked to you guys, right? To her or him. So, 안녕하세요, the target person, right? 자, 그래서 John is Steve Wilson. Yeah, we already learned this expression. I'm Steve Wilson. 3학년이에요. 자, look at this part. Also, Steven doesn't say 저는 3학년이에요, right? Why? Why Steven doesn't say 저는 3학년이에요? Instead of that, he just say 3학년이에요. There you go. Already, everybody know 3학년 is who. 그렇죠. Steve is 3학년. So the speaker doesn't need to say I am a junior because this is redundant element. So in Korean, subject or topics are often omitted when they are obvious as can be seen in the this example, right? 자, omission are not limited to subject. Any element can be omitted as long as the context make the referent clear, okay? 자, look at this part. 안녕하세요, 그렇죠? 안녕하세요. Again, Yumi say 김유미예요. So Yumi also say just 안녕하세요 without you, 그렇죠? The target person. And just also say 김유미예요 instead of saying 저는 김유미예요. So not only the references to the speaker I, but also to the listener you is omitted as in here. 안녕하세요. All right. 자, 그러면 여러분들, let's go. Our third grammar point. This is our last today grammar point. Comparing item, 은는 versus 도. 그렇죠. 자, look at this part. There are two examples, right? 자, 김유미는 한국 사람이에요. 스티브는 미국 사람이에요. 자, 여러분, look at this part. 김유미는 한국 사람이에요. 스티브는 미국 사람이에요. 자, what does that mean? 자, 한국 사람. 자, this means like a nationality, 그렇죠? 한국 is which country? There you go. Korea가 되겠죠? Then what about 미국? 미국 is America, the United States, 그렇죠? So, 김유미는 한국 사람이에요. It means 김유미 is Korean. 이란 뜻입니다. Then what about Steve? Steve는 미국 사람이에요. It means Steve is American. 그렇죠. So this is how you can say that. Is it like the same nationality or different? There you go. They are having a different nationality, right? So 김유미는 한국 사람이에요. Steve는 미국 사람이에요. So 은 or 는 can express different, right? So 는 한국 사람, 는 미국 사람. Then look at the second example. Steve say, 안녕하세요. 저는 3학년이에요. And what about Lisa said, 저도 3학년이에요. So Steve say, 안녕하세요. Hello. 저는 3학년이에요. I am junior 3학년. 그렇죠. Junior죠. And Lisa said, 저도 3학년이에요. Oh, look at this. They are both 3학년. 3학년. So, junior, right? So, it can be parator. 그렇죠? 자, 그렇기 때문에 자, 
these are mentioned to not noon because this is a parallel and also Lisa said exactly same thing what Steve said. 3학년, 3학년. So it can be used. It means like a do means also. So the particle 은는 and do are used to compare two or more items. 은는 versus do. So 은는, the items are different or contrastive. But do is, the items are better. 자, 그래서 김유미는 한국 사람이에요. 스티브는 미국 사람이에요. 그쵸? 어, 다나카상은 일본 사람이에요. So it keep going on. So more item. 그쵸? It's, it can be two or more items. So 은는 shows that the items are different or contrastive. But 도 means the items are better. So 저는 3학년이에요. 저도 3학년이에요. If teacher Nina say that, Oh, 저도 3학년이에요. It means we all three people are what? We are all same school grade. 3학년, 3학년, 3학년. 그렇죠? 자, 여러분들, how was it? 오늘 we learned so many things, 그렇죠? Was it difficult or was it easy, clear? 자, more than that, easy or difficult, I hope you enjoyed today our lesson. 그렇죠? 자, 여러분들, so today, what I want to recommend to you is review what we learned today, our lesson. Because new learning new language is really you need to put many effort, a lot of effort to keep practicing, especially speaking out and also listening, reading, writing. Okay, so please leave me well what we learned today and also do our textbook and workbook serving the exercise question. All right. 여러분, thank you so much for your hard work today. Remember, please, always with teacher Nina. So follow me for more learning Korea. If you want to learn more Korea expression and culture stuff, and also you need more information, please visit teacher Nina's official website and also visit teacher Nina's Instagram with teacher Nina. You can get more information and also you can let her have tutoring class too. All right, 그럼 여러분들, 감사하고요. 저희는 다음 시간에 만나겠습니다. See you next time. 그럼 여러분들 최고야. You're the best. 안녕.